Have you been thinking about or even dreaming about getting a laser for your hobby or your craft-based business, but you just didn't want to spend the amount of money that it takes to get one? Or maybe you were overwhelmed by the thought of setting it up and using it for the first time. Well, We Create came out with a new laser called the Vista. This is a 10 watt diode laser. Well, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one. And in today's video, I'm simply going to show you how I set it up and how I used it for the first time. I think if you watch the video all the way to the end, you're gonna see that this process isn't nearly as hard as you might think. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Let me start by showing you everything that came in the box with the Vista. We have the Vista. It has some protective film on the top. We have a tray that goes below it. We have two metal grates that go inside when you're not using the rotary tool. And then they also sent a large piece of wood. This is used for when you're calibrating the camera. It tells you that right there. Let me turn this to the side and show you that when they shipped it, there's two of these, I guess I would call them keys. Basically, it's something that keeps the Vista lid down in shipment. I'm going to keep these in case I ever need to move mine long distance. There's one on this side. They just pull out. And there's a separate one right here. Now we can open the lid and let's see what all is inside. Okay, it is packaged really well. And inside, let's start with a couple of things they sent to show that they've used this laser. They have an engraved cat. And then they have a bunch of score marks. I assume they also cut these out with the Vista, with this Vista in particular, but I'm not sure. We have a power adapter. Ooh, we have a rotary kit inside here. We have an exhaust hose. Now you can either use this exhaust hose to vent it out the window, or if you get the purifier, you can use that instead. And then the thing I love about the We Creates is this air assist comes with the machine. It's not an add-on, it comes with the machine. To me, the air assist is a really big deal because it makes your cuts look so much nicer, so much cleaner. It's nice and heavy and everything is packaged in here so well. It is very tight, a little bit difficult to get out, but it keeps things from shifting around. And then last it says we have a cable and tool bag. Let's go ahead and take all the styrofoam out. Now there is a cable here, so I think I need to lift it and tilt it so it'll come out the front. Now there's a small piece of styrofoam here, but it's actually attached to this. So let me lift the front of this and drag it out as well. Now right now I can see my tabletop. And so I need to put that tray in before I use it. Before I do that though, let's go ahead and turn this around and look and see what's going to attach to the back. Since I might need some of the tools that were included, I'm gonna go ahead and open this cable and tool bag first. Let's move the laser back just a little bit. So I have a bag that says spare parts. I have the power cords, and then here's a bag of tools. Now I said power cords. Actually, here's part of the power cord, and then the other cord is what you can use to attach it to your computer. So let's open up the power adapter. That's the part that we need to actually connect to the back side of the machine. You have the round end. You are going to plug that in right here. And then on the side of the power adapter, you plug this cable in. Now I'm not going to plug this in until I have everything set up, but when I do, I will either plug it in directly to the wall or actually in my case, when I plug it in, I'm gonna plug it into one of those large industrial type extension cords. 
to attach it to my computer, we have this cord. So you have a typical USB connection on one end, and then this is what connects to the WeCreate Vista. I Vista. believe that even if you want to run this wirelessly, you do have to plug it in to begin with to connect it to your computer for the first time. I tend to go ahead and keep things connected to my computer just in case the internet drops. I'm not going to lose that connection. Here's the exhaust hose. Now, if you're going to use this, you're going to have to have it near a window so you can vent this out the window. Let's look and see how difficult or how easy this is to connect. I can see it's going to go right here. So we need to take these nuts off. And I was able to do this just with my hands. Well, at least this first one. We'll see on the rest of them. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach this onto those. Now we're just going to do the reverse. We're going to go ahead and put these nuts back on. Now to loosen this clamp so that you can put your hose on, you can use a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. Now I'm trying to keep my head out <laughs> from being in front of the camera. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I loosen that up. Now I can just use my fingers to loosen it. Let's just go ahead and take it off. That's going to be easier. Now there's a couple of tie wraps on this. You just have to take those off. I've already taken one off. And then this can expand to be longer. Well, it's not super long. When I pull it all the way apart, it seems to be about four feet long. So we're going to slide this over this black part. This might be the hardest part of putting this thing together. Oh, it's not so bad. Okay, I got it over it. I want to go ahead and go in just a little bit farther with it. Then we're going to place this collar that tightens it down back on top. And I know my hands are in the way. I apologize for that. Okay, so have it inside. Now I'm going to tighten this up with my fingers just to get that collar started back inside. And then I'll really tighten it down with my screwdriver. Okay, that feels nice and snug. Let's go ahead and do the air assist. In the air assist kit, you have the hose. That's going to be the input, I'm pretty sure. And then here's the compressor for it. So this should be the power. So at the end of the compressor, you have two little holes, and those are going to fit over two prongs that are down inside here. Let me go ahead and get this cord unwrapped, or take the tie wrap off. Okay, so we're going to put those two holes over the two prongs, and then we're going to tighten up this collar so that this cord stays plugged in. Also notice there's a little divot right here. And it looks like, yes, there's a little hump right here where that divot has to go at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and just plug this in. Now let's tighten down this collar. Now this hose is going to connect the air assist to the air assist pump or compressor. I'm not sure the technical term. I believe it's going to go right inside here. Okay, that's pretty good. 
This is going to attach somehow to this pump. And it's right here. So you have the hole that's going to go right here. What's going to happen is this pump or compressor is going to feed the air into the hose and that's what's going to cause the air to go into your Vista. I love the air assist. Now let's look at the rotary tool. Now I want to play around with the laser before I put the rotary tool attachment on, but I just want to show you what it looks like. Now to me it looks a lot like the one that you can get with the other We Create laser with the Vision. Eventually this is going to attach to one of the rails inside and then huh, this looks improved maybe. I'm not sure. I never looked at the bottom of my other one. But this goes under your tumbler or whatever else you're engraving on. And then you can use this to raise it or lower it, depending upon the height of your tumbler. And when we do a tumbler, you'll understand that more at that time. And these are just some rubber things that attach to your rotary tool that help stabilize your tumbler or whatever else you're engraving. These will make a comeback in my video where I do a tumbler. I placed the air purifier on the back side of this table. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. I will connect this end of the hose basically the same way I did this end. Let me do that and then we're going to figure out how to attach this to my computer. Now I just found this in the bag of tools and extra things and it's actually something that I will have to use. I have some of these anyway, but this came with it. This makes it where you can connect this to a Mac, or at least the age of Mac that I have. So that's your adapter to go into a Mac. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in so it'll have some power. Now, I just realized I have not yet put that tray in. Let's do that. Now here's the tray. It just slides under your machine. This is going to protect your table underneath of it, or whatever you have underneath it. Now the last thing I want to do before I power this on is go ahead and put these grates inside. Now one side of them is very flat. The other, you have a pointed side. I'm going to put this pointed side up. Also, when they're inside, they sit on top of a little lip. I'm going to get my phone so I can show you that. Now, you see how they sit down here on this lip? That's how it's going to look on both sides. So if they slide around a lot, they're probably not in the right place. Inside of the machine, in the two back corners, you have some red tape and it shows you that you need to remove some screws. There's this silver screwdriver. There's also a green screwdriver. It has a smaller shaft, but the silver screwdriver is what I'm going to use to remove those screws. So I remove those from the right side as well. Remember earlier in the video when I removed those two metal things I was calling keys. They were actually guard pins and they held the lid secure during shipping. Removing those two pins left two holes in the side of the laser and smoke could escape through those. So we create included two plugs to fill those in. Pushing these plugs through for me was very difficult. In the end, I ended up getting a rubber mallet and I used that to press them through. If you don't get those in far enough, when you close the lid, it's going to bump into them. So I'm showing you how they should look from the top view. 
All right, I'm going to hit that toggle switch in back that powers it on. As soon as I plugged the WeCreate Vista into my computer, here was the window I saw. It's asking me, do I want to allow an accessory to connect to my computer? And I do, so I will click on Allow. Now I'm going to turn my machine off. Now let's go ahead and turn the machine back on. We get that Don't Allow or Allow. I'm going to click on Allow. And that time it worked correctly. I went ahead and put some wood in, so let's go ahead and open the software. I just put in some old wood that I used for some earrings a long time ago. And actually this first project, all I'm going to do is see if I can cut out a rectangle. Let me click on New Project. Now in this video, I started to show you how you use this software. I realized this is a super long video and really what I wanted to show you was whether this machine cuts well or not. So I'm going to skip over all the rest of the software part. I will have future videos where I teach you how to use the software, but for now I just want to see how this cuts. So here's the rectangle that I drew and now I'm just going to go ahead and send this to the laser. I'll go ahead and click start. And it says it's going to take about 1 minute and 39 seconds to cut this. So I'll click on this purple send button. All right, let's go ahead and open this and see if that cut well, and it did. Now you can see the singe marks down on these. You're going to get these dirty. That's just going to happen. But look how clean that is. That air assist does a great job. So what did you think about the process of putting this laser together? I thought it was really pretty simple to do, and I really love We Create software. I think it's very user friendly. Now, in my next We Create Vista videos, you're going to see me make actual projects, and I hope to see you right back here for those. Thank you so much for joining me today, and until next time, bye bye.